Hi, this is Rich Weekly, Borthorpe Electric. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure I.O. cards. So, in previous videos, we've created or configured an M340. We've given it a name. If you look at the top up here, this is M340 Test 1. Now, to bring that up, I'm going to go Tools Project Browser. I'm going to double click on this PLC bus. So you see as it brought our local rack up, again the local is the one with the processor in it, we have these empty slots because we haven't configured any cards yet. It will also bring up this hardware catalog. So if I was to go to slot 1 and say we're going to put a digital input card in slot 1, or discrete, so I go over to discrete and I select my drop down here. So if we're going to use a, let's say a DAI 1604, which is 120 volt AC, well then if I hold the mouse button down, I can drag it over and it'll put the card in there for me. Okay, So that's one way that I can do it. The other way is to just double click on the slot. So if I double click on the slot, it'll bring up that same window and I can select discrete and select it that way too. Okay. So I'll go ahead and delete that one. So there's a digital input card or a discrete input. We'll put in a discrete output or a relay output card in here. We'll select an analog input. And we'll select an analog output card. As you can see from this selection menu over here, we have all kinds of different cards that we can configure in those slots. So Now if I go back to the one in slot one, if I double click on that, so it'll bring those cards up and show me the channels for those cards. If there's any special configuration, it would come up as well. So if I go to the analog input card, okay, I have an extra configuration on that card because it's analog and one of the things that I would have to configure is maybe these channels. If these channels were 4 to 20 I would make that selection here okay, depending on what they were. Whether I was going to use them or not use them, if I was just going to use the first two and not use these ones I could go and check those to say that I'm not going to use those channels. Okay. Uh, I can do scaling and filtering right on the cards of the M340 as well. We'll talk about this in other videos as far as the fast and normal cycle and the task. Uh, that's actually when the uh, logic is being solved. So I'll go ahead and accept that. So I've added a digital input, a relay output, analog input, and here's my analog output again. I would have a choice of 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20. If I'm uh, also have a fallback here, so if it loses communication, do I want it to go to 0? Well, let's say if I selected 4 to 20 and said no, if this is, uh, if something should happen, I want this to fall back to some other value besides 0, and I would put the value in there. In this case, we'll put 40. Okay. And it would fall back to that instead of going to zero. So that's where we'd find that configuration. Okay. So once I select those cards, uh, I would go ahead and build again. Because if I close this window, I'll see I have blue marks, blue checks again. So I need to go back and recompile this. So I build changes. So then everything is everything is fine. Our blue checks are gone, and now we have. A processor configured. We've configured the Ethernet port in previous videos. We actually have selected some input cards now and we're ready to start doing some programming and tying the uh, I.O. points to these cards and then actually loading this on the simulator and we'll do that in other videos. So thanks.